Hey everyone, welcome to Win the Day, 5 Minutes in the Bible with me, your coach, Pastor Nat. Here we are kicking off a new series called Off-Roading. Here we're going to take some off-roads to different topics. We're going to talk about God's existence, some of your biggest questions, outreach, and more. So I hope you enjoy the ride. And today we're going to ask the question, does God exist? And if so, how can we know? Does God exist? Some people say, no way. Other people say, yes, but he has walked away from the universe. Others say, you just can't know if God exists. Now, I think majority of people will say, yes, of course he does. But they don't know why they believe it. What about you? How would you answer this question? Well, this topic of God's existence is near and dear to my heart. As an apologist, I both desire to know and share the proof for our faith. So over the next three days, we're going to answer the question, does God exist? If so, how can we be sure? One of the strongest pieces of evidence for God's existence is what we call the teleological argument or simply the argument from design. The teleological argument goes something like this. Every design has a designer. The universe has a highly complex design. Therefore, the universe has a designer. Again, premise one is every design has a designer. Whenever we see something with the appearance of design, we need to determine if the cause was natural or intelligent and with purpose. Let's just look at a few examples. Think about a picture of Scrabble letters. Would that be intelligent or natural? Now, what about if instead of just being random, there was a message in the Scrabble letters? Would that be intelligent or natural? Uh, think about a rock formation. Would you say that's intelligent or natural? But now think about Mount Rushmore. What do you say? Is it intelligent or natural? natural. You see, it's obvious when things are designed by an intelligent designer. No one looks at an iPhone and goes, man, isn't it amazing what time plus matter plus chance can do? <laughs> no, it is clearly intelligently designed with a purpose. So premise one, I think, is self-evident. But what about premise two? The universe has a highly complex design. Colossians 1, 16 through 17 says, For by him all things were created both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. God is the creator and the sustainer of all things. He has put the laws of nature in place with purpose and design. They are for his enjoyment, and it brings glory to himself. King David wrote about his very existence. He says, For you formed my inward parts. You wove me in my mother's womb. You see, you and I are designed with intelligence and purpose. Genesis tells us that we are made in God's image. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's some kind of design. The Anthropic Principle recognizes the rich amount of evidence that the universe was finely tuned for human life to exist. Baylor professor Walter Bradley, he argued this, evidence for an intelligent designer becomes more compelling the more we understand about our carefully crafted habitat. In other words, complex life requires very specific conditions. There is no reason to think that a universe so intelligibly designed with purpose happened by chance. Therefore, the universe has a designer. The only option is a grand designer. This designer had a purpose for our universe and also displayed the highest level of intelligence. Who fits this description of such a designer? I believe the answer is God. So here's my challenge for you today. Pause. Pause and look around you. 
go outside and look at the trees. Look at the sky. <laughs> go look at a baby. They are not there by chance. Go look in a mirror and say, wow. Don't look at yourself and go, uh, wow. No. Say, I am designed on purpose and for a purpose. Pause and develop that sense of awe and wonder of God's amazing design. It's everywhere. It's worth studying and He is worth praising. So look around and tell God how much you enjoy it. When we worship the designer and not the design, we will win the day.